Two years ago, headlines today was the first to reveal the existence of a top secret Indian military program engaged in the development of a monumental future weapon, an unmanned stealth bomber. Today, for the very first time, we reveal to you pictures of this secret super weapon that India is developing in its laboratories, a weapon that is expected to be commissioned and tested by 2016. the ultimate future weapons. An exclusive club of countries has been engaged in building unmanned stealth bomber aircraft. Intelligent, autonomous and built to kill. Pilotless machines designed to fly discreetly over enemy territory pick out targets and unleash hell from above. And now in a national exclusive, headlines today reveals India's own super weapon. What you're looking at are the first ever images of India's top secret unmanned stealth bomber concept. This is your first look at a classified military project officially designated the Indian Unmanned Strike Air Vehicle or IUSAV. The futuristic stealth bomber which draws from similar projects in the US and Europe is being developed by a specialized Indian team at aerospace laboratories across the country led by a secret core team in Bangalore. This is a project the government has acknowledged but won't say a word about. The exclusive images that Headlines Today has gained access to of the top secret stealth bomber are from the crucial design and concept stage. What this basically means is these pictures give you the first real picture of what this top secret military project will look like. Of course, there may be certain minor modifications, but this is what the aircraft will finally end up looking like when it is operational. But remember, what goes inside the aircraft is top secret and classified at this stage. There's a reason why you've never seen these pictures before and may have never even heard of the project. It is more ambitious and controversial than perhaps anything that India has ever attempted before for national defense. In this case, from a supported role, we are now uh, uh, raising the level to having, you know, even targeting and weapon delivery capability. And that is why you call it a UCAV. Unmanned aerial vehicles are the norm for the future. And more and more of the national aerospace power platforms will be unmanned. But scientists building the bomber insist it isn't an audacious pipe dream. They plan to begin flight tests in three years and hope to deliver a fully operational platform by 2020. The IUSAV will be controlled from a remote station by a ground crew. The platform's most potent weapon will be its inherent invisibility to radar. Its unique shape to be built using radar absorbent materials and paint will contribute to its low visibility, stealth that will allow it to slip into enemy airspace and back without being detected. Advanced onboard sensors will allow the IUSAV to track and detect targets, making it an airborne hunter killer of sorts. Finally, the platform will be armed with precision guided munitions that will be deployed to destroy locked targets. The IUSAV may be phenomenally complex, but its mission profile is fairly straightforward. In an operational scenario, an IUSAV would be expected to conduct bombing runs into any part of Pakistan and parts of China close to the border. India's stealth bomber is still only conceptual. Comparable aircraft like the European Neuron and the Boeing Phantom Ray are already in flight test. Even China is known to have at least two parallel stealth bomber efforts on. The only operational flying wing bomber today is the iconic American B-2 Spirit, an aircraft that has been used to devastating effect in Iraq, Afghanistan and the Bosnian War. Its shape and construction inspires the entire swath of unmanned bombers today, including the Indian IUSAV. 
Yet the importance of the platform for India is crucial, without doubt. And the fact that this must be indigenous is also equally crucial. There's every hope now that the Indian Aerospace Establishment hasn't aimed too high with this bomber and will deliver on time. With Pratibha Raman in Bangalore and Uday Pratap Singh in Delhi, Shiv Arur for headlines today.